Hey you guys, in today's video I'm gonna bring a subject matter expert that teaches people how to use free social media to build a full-time income. I actually have a page and he had a page in the same niche that he built up to being profitable, later sold that page, my page is doing terrible, but you guys are gonna see what am I doing right, what am I doing wrong, so that way you can get ahead of me and have a profitable faceless account in no time. Let's get into today's episode. What's up, hush, your favorite country cousin, JT, back again with another video. I'm here with Ty. Ty is the expert in making money online without showing your face, you guys. I know a lot of you all, you want to get in this whole content creator economy, start making money without showing your face, but you like, I don't know where to start. Well, we got two videos together. You guys need to go back and watch them if you haven't seen them already. Fantastic videos, great videos. But what we're going to do is I always like to tell you guys I'm a practitioner. I told you guys in the last video, I paid my money to join his program and it was 100% worth it. Low key, it was underpriced. Now he's even offering a free training. I don't know if it'll be free for forever, but we'll talk more about that later. So I took action and I'm going to be honest with you, when it comes to mentorship or coaching or whatever it is that may happen, I want in this video to show you that even JT with however many followers I have when you're watching this, when I go into a new arena, there is going to be a learning curve. And just because you're unsuccessful at it in the beginning doesn't mean that it doesn't work. I 100% believe that Ty can help 100% of you all that connect with him make money and grow faceless accounts on any social media platform you want to take advantage of, but you have to be coachable. So what he's going to do, I'm going to pass him this. This is an Instagram theme page that I made from zero followers. I got a whopping, y'all going to go crazy for this, 12 followers on the page, y'all. And what I want you to do is like just, man, you ain't got to hold no punches. Tell me what's trash, what's good, if anything, and how could this be better? Perfect, perfect, perfect. So... And just do this for the video. Yo, yo, yo. So you can. I'm gonna put it on the screen for the screen recording. Yep. Perfect. So, all right, cool. So we have Pro Proverbs one one two four two five. Yep. Um, the very, that's a scripture. Yeah. That's probably a bad name though. Nah, I, I, I'm not against it. I'm not against oh, yeah. it. I'm not against it. I see that for this, the logo you use artificial intelligence. Am I right? Yep. So I, I actually I mess with the logo. So one yep. thing I always tell people all the time is with your logo, you want it to be bold. You want it to speak on your brand, but you also don't want it to be. You don't want it to be old school. Too many times people create these logos with so many words in it. Sometimes a picture is all you need. Yeah. Our most successful page to date was actually off of the, the profile picture for that page was actually found off of Google. Okay. So people overcomplicate what the logo needs to look like. So this looks phenomenal. Okay. So Proverbs 11, 24, 25, the very best Christian content in one place. I'm not against your bio at all. Mm -hmm. One thing I will say if I were you is I would just add like a little line here. So like the last line, it will tell people exactly what you want them to do. So for example, whenever we're selling something, we'll be like, hit the link below to get your blank, blank, blank. Mm -hmm. Whenever we're not selling something, we're starting a brand new page like this one with only 12 followers. I want to tell people what I want them to do. So I'm going to be like, hit the button below to follow us or shoot us a follow if you love our content or if you love Jesus, hit the follow button. Like, you know, yeah. it's little stuff like that because it's psychological, but the way it works is, and this is something I realized with social media over the years, is when you tell people what you want them to do, they're way more likely to actually do it. Mm -hmm. So you'll actually see in some of our posts that we'll tell people, save this, like this, comment this, and they'll actually do it. We're getting them to do what we want them to do. So mm -hmm. I'll just have like a little call to action right there that's telling them to give us a follow because when you when you first start this page, you don't want to necessarily try to sell something off rip. Yeah. But I see that you have some, you have a link in about 30 Bible secrets for improved health, wealth, and relationship without worry, expense, or hard work. I love, love, love the title of this. This is an ebook, right? Yep, it's an ebook. Did you make this or is this? Uh, with, with AI? Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Absolutely. Yep, those not this. real people, you guys, that you're seeing. <laughs> so I, nah. Hopefully they look real. But <laughs> <laughs> nah, I absolutely yeah. love that. So off rip, um, that's good. I see that yeah. you have an ebook that you're selling. If you really want to start generating sales with this ebook, which I don't think that you'll get a lot off rip, but when you do actually start seeing that return, you're going to want to put that as the call to action. So instead of the follow, you're going to want to tell them, hey, get the blank, blank, blank down below so okay. people know where to go. Next thing, we're going to go through your content off rip without clicking anything. And, and just to pause it too. So all of the good stuff that he's telling me to do or that he likes about the page is what he explained to me to do. Like, 
Like I didn't wake up one day and was like, hey, I should do this, right? <laughs> so just letting you know that the good stuff is what he already told me to do. The bad stuff is when I was like, man, I don't know what he's talking about. I got now, 12 followers. Off rip, your content is actually really, really mm -hmm. good. Your content mm -hmm. is really, really good. Most people, they overcomplicate content. They want to add their own stuff to it. I tell people all the time, keep it stupid simple. Yep. Whatever is working, whatever worked before, just do what was yep. working before. What, so, what I'm worried about, and I know that somebody that uh, does this as well after watching the two videos, if you haven't yet connected with them, maybe even if you are in the early stages of connecting with them. So, like... I'm expecting the post to go viral. I ain't had no viral posts. <laughs> nah, that's so, so that being said, like, is this normal in the beginning? Like, I don't have a whole lot of posts either, I don't think. Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah. Yeah, fun, funny enough, you actually have too many posts, but we'll get to that later. Oh. <laughs> but actually, I mean, you haven't had a viral post, but let's not get it twisted. Too many times people, when they think of viral, they think of millions and hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that virality is different for everybody. You have mm -hmm. 12 followers, yet you have a post that has 567 views, and this post has 25 likes. That's double the likes than you have actual followers. <laughs> yeah. So in essence, I mean, you had a post that started being seen, yeah. um, just doing more of that. And if you want to increase the likelihood of that happening, look at this, 36 likes, 241 views. You're doing the right thing. You're garnishing. You're pulling and grabbing the right audience. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I will say off rip is that this account specifically, I see that- How it, you feel about the Christian niche? I actually owned a page in this niche before. Okay. We ended up selling the account, I will tell you that. I could never actually figure out the best way to monetize this account because I didn't feel right selling anything that was Christian related and asking for money. It was just something in my, in my spirit. I don't know okay. why I felt right. But if I actually- I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nah, that was funny. Good, yeah. But um, nah, seriously though, like mm -hmm. if you can put that to the side and actually lock in 100%, this is a yeah. good niche. And the reason this niche is so good is because the best niches are the ones where it's people with similar beliefs because these people all have things in common. Mm -hmm. So for example, one of my top pages is my Black Wealth page. It, it, mm -hmm. It's everything Black entrepreneurship and Black success. The reason yeah. that page is so good is because everybody has something in common. Yeah. So this page, everybody has something in common. So offer it, content's good. I see that you're pulling it from TikTok, it looks like. Everything mm -hmm. looks good right here. You, you, you paid attention to the training, man. Yeah. So the next thing I'll say off rip is you have 36 posts in three days. That tells me you post it 12 times per day. Yeah. In this business, <laughs> I know it's super easy to get happy and just go trigger happy, start posting, but less is more. So okay. I'll dial this down back to like two to three pieces of content per day. Okay. Because guess what? What tends to happen is once you start posting too much, Instagram starts to limit your reach because okay. they feel like you're spamming, mm -hmm. right? So instead, let's just focus on two to three times per day. After we do two to three times per day, keep posting the content that you're posting. Let me see your bio, I me, mean, I mean your captions. Everything seems solid. And then you have the call to action. Everything seems solid exactly how you have it. Like, this is another post, 25 likes. You have posts that do good. You have some posts that do good. It's okay. just about time. I mean, so setting realistic expectations, like he said in previous videos, like it might take a month or two to build it up. And yeah, I just wanted to post a thousand times a day and like well, go viral. But that's 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 <laughs> everybody when they first start to yeah. get super happy. I got my page, I'm ready to go crazy. After you dial it down, your content is good. Are you posting this content yourself? Nah, nah, nah. I got a VA that's posting it from yeah. the Philippines. Yeah, I, I probably <laughs> We're Probably. using a VPN though. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay, okay. So you might be good. You you might be good. So yeah. if you as long as you're using a VPN, you might be good. But from my yeah. experience, I only bring on people from the United States, Canada, and South America. Those are okay. the only people that I'm bringing on. Typically, the reason for this is because what you'll realize is based upon where your account is posting from, they typically tend to show your post to that audience first. So with time, what I want you to do is I want you to see the kind of followers that are coming in. Mm -hmm. And if you see that you have followers coming in from the Philippines, then this tells you like, hey, this VA, whether it's a girl or whether it's a guy, they're posting, they're attracting, you know, people in their country. Let's actually get somebody else to post or let's okay. figure out a way to make it seem like this is coming from where I'm at. In That's your program, do you help people like know where to look for those type of team members? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We have a uh, we, we have a lot of plays on how we find people to actually post for us. The dope thing about it is, too, when you get these people to post for you, all they're doing is downloading videos from this platform and posting it on here mm -hmm. and it, Long story short, they don't really get paid much. Yeah. Like, for example, our, our one of our pages, we were paying the dude, I believe it was $75 a week. And that was $150. That was $300 a month. Crazy thing was, he was posting three times per day. But the even crazier part about it was, this is going to sound so messed up. 
he made us thirty thousand dollars in a single month, and all we had to pay was three hundred dollars. I felt yeah. bad, so I, was I like, paid hey. my VA more than that. You <laughs> I was, overpaid. I, yeah. I felt bad, and crazy, yeah. he was in Canada too, so he, yeah. everything was just like perfectly aligned. Yeah. I felt so bad. I was like, "Yo, bro, we'll give you a percentage of ebook sales, mm -hmm. um, just so you can keep on pushing this, and just so you can keep going crazy, because yeah. we don't want him to be demotivated." He was like, I, "I've never found a better person running my page than yeah. him." But he's still working with you now. Oh uh, no, no, uh, no, no. <laughs> because once we actually sold that page. It was a part of the deal that the same person that grew our page oh, actually goes with him. Goes oh, yeah. with him. And one of the things that I always, always, always tell people too many times, this is this is another thing too. Once you get one page up and running, try not to spread your people out too thin, posting on multiple of your same accounts. So for every single one of our accounts, we try to max people out at two pages, absolutely max. Okay. If you're managing more than two pages, um, we're just going to get somebody else to run that page. Okay. Because what you'll realize in this business, you have to be consistent and it's easy. It's very, 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 very easy for you to get lackadaisical once you're managing too many accounts at once. So two is the max that we ever recommend on one person to manage a single account. I and mean, that's just so everything can be cohesive so they can actually be looking at what's working, see what's not working, actually treat the page like it's theirs. Okay. But overall, this page is really good. I would probably fix up the bio a little bit, adding a call to action. You have the link in your bio. I'll dial down. So instead of posting 12 times per day, post two to three times per day. Yeah. And then like I was saying earlier, consistency is the biggest thing. Consistency is the biggest thing. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to come back to you in six months and I want to see if you're still posting on this account. Oh, yeah. Because We're consistency gonna do it. is the biggest thing, bro. In this yeah. business, you have to understand this is a low risk, high reward business model. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to give up. It's yep. easy to say, ah, oh, nah, I'm, I'm not going to do this. Next thing I mm -hmm. want you to do is when you get some time, look up some of your competitors in the space. Mm -hmm. See what they're selling. See how they're monetizing their Christianity page. And yep. literally piggyback off of them. That's exactly what we do time and time again. Okay. All right, you guys. Hey, you guys have seen it firsthand from a gentleman that makes a full-time income off of managing several Instagram theme pages. The takeaway that I want you all to get from this is that one, this guy really knows his stuff. Two, this is a real business. This is not a get rich quick scheme or scam. And I talk to you guys all the time on this channel about us making a lot of money and bringing you successful people that make a lot of money. But I pride myself in practical entrepreneurship. So literally, this is my Instagram account. You guys can go to Instagram and follow it if you want to. You might be my 13th follower. But show you guys that this happens for everybody. It's completely normal in business to start a new business and it doesn't make you a million dollars overnight. It's completely normal that you got to spend months. Some people spend years, but like he said in the previous video, if you know that sowing this seed today of picking this niche and consistently posting in this niche over time will eventually make you $500 or more per day, is it worth it? If you're going to be on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, wherever you are, if you're going to be on there anyway, is it worth sowing the seed so that eventually you can say, hey, I make a full-time income completely off of this page? So appreciate you coming on the channel. Hey, if people want to connect with you and learn how do you grow faceless pages the right way so that way you can scale them up to make $500 or more per day, what's the best way to connect with you? I'm going to have a free train that's going to be coming up this week. Just hit the link down below in the description. That's, you're going to put the link yep, in the description. Yep, link is right? down in the description now, y'all. Hit the link down in the description where we host this training every single week where I show you from A to Z how to actually build and scale your very first page, exactly how I've done it. I show you behind the scenes of some of my accounts, what they're doing. And most importantly, I just give you all this knowledge for free. I don't want a single penny from you. I just want you to see what's possible and I just want you to start. All right, and you, you didn't monetize your Christian page until you sold it. So no, you, I, no, no, I monetized oh, it while I was on. Yeah, yeah. No, while do, I owned it, I monetized. Do you it. remember what kind of money you was yeah, making yeah, off of yours? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't nothing crazy. I think it was like a thousand a month. But yeah. I'll be honest, I will be you. happy with that. See, <laughs> you'd be happy with it. But for me, yeah. we don't focus on pages that make us anything less than eight thousand dollars a month, and that's okay. just me. That's just me, and that's just the level okay. I'm at. But a thousand a month, if you're happy with that, one hundred percent. I remember yeah. that we had people reaching out to us. Hey, we want promo. Hey, we want promo. And you know, we made some money from promos. We made some money. I think we sold a few eBooks off of it. It was nothing too crazy. Yeah. But it just wasn't. It, it wasn't enough for me to say, ah, it, it's worth it to keep it running. Can you say how much you sold it for? Or are you? Oh uh, yeah, really? I only sold it for like three thousand yeah. dollars. Nothing too crazy. And that was just because I just wanted to get in. I wanted to get out. I'm like, you know what? Let me actually go on to my next page. Boom, That's still then. good though. Yeah, a free not, Instagram it's... page flipped it for three bands. You could have kept it. Made a band. No, nah, nah, I, I sound ungrateful. No, nah, that's really good. <laughs> that's really, I'm thinking about some of the bigger, our bigger acquisitions, but no, nah, definitely not 100%. It's good money. I tell people this all the time. It's faceless pages. 
is one of the most low risk business models. We're already on social media every single day. You make an extra thousand bucks. That's for sure. You know what I mean? As it can be life changing for somebody. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. every single day there's people coming up to us like, oh, I really made this money. Like it, it really worked. I had this one student, his name is Kirk. He's in St. Lucia. I think he made like $1,100 off his page. He has a travel page. Megan, she yes. made $2,000 in a day off of her page. Um, in a day, y'all. It, it's, so it, it's so many dope stories and, and things. And what happens once you just stay consistent? Stay consistent. You're building a business. It takes time. And one day, this thing that you're building, you can actually sell it. And that's the best part about all of it. Absolutely. You guys take a free asset, right? Build it up. And then you can sell it or monetize it. Keep it for forever. Build up your digital real estate. And you pointed out a lot, too. What I like about digital real estate is Instagram is free. If you bought a house like this, it might be a million, million plus dollars that you got to have at least the down payment for up front. And then over time, rent it out for whatever you can rent it out for. But what if you can make the same amount of money you can make from renting out a million dollar or greater house off of an Instagram account or any faceless page? But it all starts with this because everybody always says, hey, JT, if I only had X amount of money, what would I do? Right. When you don't know what to do to make money, your very first investment needs to be in sowing the seed to learn what to do. Think about it this way. This is not me trying to force you to buy anything. Matter of fact, his class is free down in the description below. But if you say, OK, I'm going to make the investment of time or money, if you're ever in a situation where it costs money and say, OK, now I have this skill. Next time you need money, you know exactly what to do. You don't got to ask me or anybody else. You don't got to worry about what I'm going to do. OK, I've already made the investment of time, money, whatever it took. So now anytime I need to go back to the well, I can go back to the well, get some more water. I can go back to the bank. Right. The bank could be that Instagram account. I can go back to the bank, pull out a withdrawal anytime I need it. So add this tool to your tool belt. I'm committed to having profitable Instagram theme pages. Right. So. I have other ones, but this is the only one I'm actually using. This one got the most followers, right? <laughs> so y'all can tell how well I'm doing as of right now. But hey, in six months, we might give you guys an update if you think it's valuable as well. So definitely tap in, tap in. Link's already down there. Until next time, so much. Let's stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.